Next day of the Confederation Cup for Monastir and Young Africans. It's Tunisia against Tanzania. And the first goal went in. After 10 minutes, Mohamed Shakrawi fed from a free kick by Hekel Shikawi. And the team that lost in this season's Champions League qualifying to last season's runners-up Al Ali, but came through against the Confederation Cup champions, Ares Bacane, came through to score another header. Lovely one from a corner kick this time. Bubakar Traore, the uh, new signing in the winter window, getting his first goal for his new club. Towering header. And the man from Mali had a pretty good game all around. Well, young Africans came into this side on a nine-match winning run, but they leave with a defeat. They only managed to get three shots on target in the game. But Bubakar Traore ma almost managed to get a second goal with this volley. Beautifully caught by Jigu Diara in the young Africans' goal. Nice attempt by uh, Juma Shabani that... Uh, Bashir Ben Said managed to catch, and that was the way it finished. 2-0. Well, it could have been more than 2-0. Lovely ball from Traore. Yusuf Amaru, though, couldn't take advantage. Time began to run out for young Africans and the Premier League champions of uh, Tanzania. The Ligi Kuru Bora were unable to get anything going in attack. At the end, then, 2 nil win for Monastir. Fourth place after nine games. They're already 16 points behind runaway leaders. Peter Club. Shabani job. Go. Isama Rajabu on Deco. The referee blows the whistle. And away we go in Kinshasa. Underway in Dar es Salaam, match day two. An early chance potentially there for Kitambala. Little touch from Diara. And a more convincing touch, but a shot from range goes wide. It's a danger area. Flicked on and finds the net. And the home crowd go wild. 1-0. Just six minutes on the clock. And the side that they wanted to see take the lead. Do just that. And here come Younger again. Brilliant ball through. Flag stays down. Chipped over the keeper. And it is 2-0. They're running away with it. This time Yaya with the finish. Celebrates with the... Traditional ball under the shirt. It'll briefly be a man up. They make the most of it. It's a low delivery in. That one looping towards the back stick. And met it. And it is, it does find the top corner. Straight back to the centre circle, a brilliant free kick. There goes Maeli, he knows his role. Can he find the pass this time? There are options. He finds one. And there is the confirmation of the win for Yanga. And it is Kasinda. Substitute secures all three points for his side. But that's the full-time whistle. It doesn't matter. 3-1 to young Africans. Here are the highlights from this one. Real de Bamako won young Africans won its finished. Both sides had their moments. The draw probably a fair outcome in the end. Bamako with a strike on goal. Earnings were a little bit different.
the Bamako coming close at nil nil when the effort from Kato on that far side came crashing off of the same post that Musonda had hit earlier. Kalala Mayele getting in behind the Bamako defence. There was the warning sign. Poor goalkeeping there from Verte. He got away with it. So the ball threatened to squirm in. His poor piece of goalkeeping. It would have been a relieved man to see the ball come back off the post. Kalala Mayele wasn't going to make the same mistake again. He received the ball on the edge of the box, spun and struck left-footed into the far corner to break the deadlock. Bit of luck maybe with the first touch. A fantastic finish. Once he'd set his sights on goal. Here we have another look at it. He only had one thing on his mind once he got back inside. Synchronized celebration. On to Saver. But Real de Bamako were not done there. Wonderful chances. Sidibe made the ball across the face of goal. He probably should have gone alone upon reflection, but he was looking for a substitute striker. Come on. And there was the equaliser. Good delivery in towards the near post area. Not the best defending in truth. But Kone rose highest to power home a header and level the score, earning Real de Bamako a point here. And so well, it was a big match in Dar es Salaam. One more in the last game between these two sides. And it was the host, young Africans, who had the first thing to say in this rematch. A great run and shot from Fiston Mayele for his ninth goal of the campaign. Put the home side in front of the National Stadium in the Tanzanian capital. Real de Pamaco caught cold by the hot shot centre forward from the Democratic Republic of Congo. The large parts of this Tanzanian side populated by men from across the border in the Democratic Republic of Congo and they had the best of it through this game. In the second half, Maloko had come on, trying to put it on a plate for Fiston Mayela, who'd already missed a couple of absolute belting chances to make it two or even three nil at the end of the first half. He then went back in again in the same way that he scored the goal, got the penalty, but it was put over by Yannick Bangala to keep it at one goal to nil. However, the midfielder needed to worry, and neither had his coach, because they still managed to come through after that. Ball across the far side, though. This was offside in the end, though, from the uh, shot off the post by Musa Koulibaly. I didn't know that at the time, though. And then a mistake at the back by Emil Kone allowed the substitute Jesus Maloko in, and he made no mistake with his first goal of the campaign. Lovely finish from the fullback. 2 0 to Yanga. Second place now, almost secure. They get ready for a top of the table encounter against Monastir in the next game. However, Musa Kone, who got a yellow card before this, almost had a chance to make it an interesting last 10 minutes. But now Real de Bamako face an all or nothing. Up Tanzania, up against Group D leaders Monastir. In match day five at the CAF Total Energies Confederation Cup. Young Africans in navy blue on the ball. Ball played out wide to Ducapel. Stealing in Kennedy Musonda to break the deadlock. The coach, Nazreddin Nabi, really enjoyed that build up. Left his space onto his right foot. Terrific run by the goal scorer Musonda. And an equally good header. Glancing past the helpless goalkeeper, Yedes. Into the second half. Wild clearance, which very nearly caused an own goal. Yedes on the back foot. Omrani, no control over his action. 
Deepest in clearance by Yedes. Unorthodox. Actually had a chance to catch that. Then the final straw, Mayele. Piling the ball home. First touch was suspect. Second touch was golden. The home fans celebrate. The visitors finally woke up, tried to get back into the game. Wild head up, and that rather summed up their evening's performance. Amor Kran. At the other end, two substitutes nearly combining for the hosts. Monestia glad to clear the ball. And Cizé with a first shot. Stefan as he's key with the second. As they blocked. In this continued pursuit of continental glory. Well, it was a great run by Luzolo. And then a strike on target, but sadly, he went off injured. That was a big blow as Mpeka switched flanks. Young Africans certainly under pressure. And they started to be a bit more of a threat. Bangala's header across. Pushed away by Inland. Kowami. That the first of two huge chances for the Ravens captain. Then trying to bundle his way through. Young substitute Mujaya. Tepe Mazembe kept knocking at the door. But Yanda captain Mawan Yeto and Co. Managed to keep them at bay. Mokoko heading wide, and Gonga just bullied out of it. Headed over from Peya. Had an even better chance in the first half. Gonga could only find the gloves of Nata from a difficult angle. And then the ball in from Maloko, spilled by Inland. And that lent a helping hand to Faridi Musa. On as a substitute, a first Confederation Cup goal. And Gonga would later see a second yellow. Could have been better for the young Africans. And that the Tanzanian champions who went. Final act. And that is the full time whistle. In the corner. So the first leg of the quarterfinals. Early free kick opportunity. Failing to hit the target. Emmanuel Gideon Duru. Plenty of opportunities from set pieces. Rivers United weren't to make them count. Mayeli was dangerous. He found Key Aziz. A fine save from Tsushima. Kept the scoreline blank. But it was goalless at the break. The last time the two teams had meet was back in 2021. Rivers United winning both legs 1-0 to advance to the second round of qualifying for the Champions League. Far more at stake here. And it was the Young Africans who took a huge first step to Mwanieto finding Mayeli onside as confirmed by VAR the dear Congo man on the score sheet again he's been absolutely deadly in front of goal in the Confederations Cup it's a fourth goal in five outings and the number nine was not done there From a set piece, Farouk slapping on the ball, and suddenly yellow shirts flooded forward. The ball into Mayeli. It found his captain storming forward. He returned the ball to sender and ended with the visiting Tanzanian champions taking a huge step towards a first ever.
half continental of assists. Underway here in the first leg of the Confederations Cup semi final. So, the first leg of the semi finals, a first ever. It's certainly been in the wars. Nayeli, joint top scorer with Chivaviro at the other end, testing out a Ruby, a snapshot, poking towards the goal of Washington Arubi. A comfortable save, but then the huge chances came for Marumo. Surely needing to go across goal. But then a flick round the corner puts in joint top scorer of the competition, Shiva Viro. The striker brilliantly rock solid. Although still a huge chance. Diara with a fine save. Shiva Viro unable. Losing to Dear Congo's Bangala, who find his compatriot Kasinda. It was on a plate for Aziki, but what a finish! Opened up the left foot and just caressed it into the top corner of Washington and then off the bar. But then the striker showed he's a team player. On a plate for Morrison, clipped it past Arubi and still had the ability. The presence of mind to get onto his feet and just squeeze it in. Clipped it brilliantly here. Scrambling up and then just slotting it between post and player to double the Tanzanian champions lead. And that. The game off. Marumo Gallants in the uh, rather garish green that they've uh, used all season long. And uh, we're under. Keeley, good interception. But Seppo Gumede gets there. Now Musonda to Mayele. Mayele on the chase. And Keeley with the cover. Mayele, that's a good tackle, but it's going to be a goal for Mayele. Young Africans have another one. And a three goal lead. It was a mistake by Anyanda Nkili, which Mayere has punished. And the crowd here go wild. Young Africans extend their aggregate. He's got some pace about him as well. Is he going to finish it? It's all over. Musonda sticks it away. That was wonderful pace by the big striker. It's all over now. 
Young Africans double the aggregate lead on the night. Look at the confidence of Mayena there. Looking at the space behind Tepo Gumede, just put the ball there and took Tepo Gumede for pace and unselfishly as well, get inside the box, be able to set that man there to be able to score that goal. Wow. Well, Teko was talking at half-time about the fact that this Mayele will be heading uh, possibly uh, to one of the big uh, South African clubs. Yeah. I tell you, that's an audition. Have a look See, at this. I think it's so important. Now again, this has got to be it. Finally, a goal for Gallant for Ranga Chivavairo. So he goes back to the top of the goal-scoring charts in this competition. That's at least one consolation for him. Number seven in the competition, Gallant's pull one back. A good ball there from his post. But Chivavairo there, that's just a touch with the goalkeeper outside of his line. It gets his goal. Oh, he's got to be careful not to pick up a yellow. There it is. Victory for young Africans of Tanzania. They will play in the African. It was the first leg of the CAF Confederations Cup. Dar es Salaam. Packed to the rafters. Sell out 60,000 crowd looked on. And then they were silenced. I mean, Mayus. Heading in by Benzaza's terrific delivery. And it stunned the younger as U.S. and Alger warmed up to the task in the pouring rain in Tanzania's capital. It could have been even better for the Algerians. Wonderfully worked opportunity for Khalid Moussaliou. Just blocked out. Tiara had to be aware. Finally. Response from young Africans as they improved in the second half. Stefan Kiazi's ball, but well dealt with by Usama Benbot. Now again in the right place at the right time. A header from Adam Alili. But then a moment of pure inspiration. Fisting Kalara Mayeli, leveling the affair. And being the outright top scorer in the competition, touch and bang, 1-1. But if the young Africans were enjoying, finally, puncturing USM Alger's defence. Just a minute later, desolation and absolute ecstasy for the Algerian visitors. Tumasang Orebonye linking with Khaled Moussaliou, who had the presence of mind to put it on a plate for Islam Merili. And the midfielder tucked it away. And it's a vital. Well, coming into the second leg of the Canada Confederation Cup final. Moussa Algier on home turf already with a 2 1 lead, but seven minutes in. After a penalty was given away, put away by Juma Shabani. Through the rest of the first half. Generally, the better chance has been created by USM, but they couldn't find a way through. It's probably the best chance for them to win on Magnus. Strike at this time, his header and the ball tamely bounced across the goal. This could have been two on the night for young Africans, but a fantastic defensive challenge from Adem Alile saved the day for the Algerians, who have become the first team from their country to win this final. Meanwhile, young Africans, the first Tanzanian team to ever reach the final of the CAF Confederation competition. Save there from uh, Chigui Diara. The end of the first half and into the second half. Well, Piston Mayeli struggled really to make an impact for young Africans who really seemed to run out of ideas in the final third as the second half went on. Sangara Bonye, but a fantastic double save from Jigui Diara. First from Belayeds. Penalty then from Mahius's.
follow-up would earn him the man of the match comp. Uh, ball. 